first off, you're going to grab some wine corks. Ask around your friends and family, and you can probably get a bunch for free, though online you can usually find them for bulk or at your local craft store. There are synthetic corks and there are actual cork corks. Either one will work for this project just fine. I chose the Fat Cat cork for this project, mostly because it's cute, but also because the tops and the bottom of this cork weren't too badly damaged by my bottle opener. Little bit of a wine stain on one end, but that's okay because the cork is completely dried out. Never use a wet cork. That is just not fun. For attaching things to the keychain, you're going to want a keychain ring, a jump ring, and two tiny screw eyes, or hook eyes, depending who you ask. I usually use the small ones because the big ones kind of look too clunky for me. For the danglies, you're going to want a charm, though that is optional, some sort of beads, and head pins to attach your beads. You can just buy pre-made danglies and just plop them on an open key ring, but I like making my own. To do the top, you're going to want to attach the eye screw to the keychain ring. I wouldn't suggest putting the eye screw in the cork and then putting it on the keychain ring, because then you're probably going to accidentally rip out the screw, which isn't really fun, because then you ruin your cork, and you usually ruin the screw. It's not fun. Just put it on like you would any normal key, plop it on the ring, twist it around until it's fully on, and da-da-da! See? Just like you would a normal key. Simple as anything. Now, to put it into the top of the cork, whichever one can be topped, you literally just have to poke in about the center and twist. That's it. Poke and twist. You don't have to drill it. You don't have to put glue. Some people do put glue on the screw itself when they do it into the top. I don't really need to because I, it just, I don't have to. Just make sure when you put it in, don't leave it halfway out. Make sure you screw it all the way down to the head. That way there's no chance of it accidentally ripping out on you. See? All the way down so it's flush with the top. Doesn't that look cute? Now for the bottom, you're going to do exactly what you did to the top, though minus key ring. <laughs> you're just going to poke it and twist it. Simple as anything. See? Again, make sure the bottom is also flush because you don't want that end accidentally getting ripped out by the danglies either. The, the danglies aren't usually that heavy, but you don't want them getting ripped out. And that's what it looks like when both ends are in. That's what it should look like. The two ends of the screws don't have to be perfectly even with each other. That's fine. They don't have to face the same way because it doesn't really matter. You can make them face the same way if you really, really want to, but it doesn't matter in the end. For the bead, you're just going to slip it onto the head pin, just like that. And then you're just going to take a pair of pliers, grab the top of it, and twist towards you to make a loop. That's all you need to do for this. If you don't get the loop perfect on the first try, don't worry about it. You can just fiddle and fix it. See? And that is what a good loop looks like, generally. See? Really easy. I fiddled with that to make it work. Ta-da! A dangly! Now, what if you've got a big pin that falls off? You have two options. You can get a new bead that fits, or you can get a little bead to go under your too big bead and put the big bead on top of that. I did that with this keychain because I really liked my big bead. So that's what I did with this. You just do exactly what you did with the other dangly before. Grab a pair of pliers, put it on the top, twist towards you. It generally works better that way because you have more control. Again, if the loop's not perfect, that's totally fine. You can just fix it. Fiddle with it until it's perfect and the two wires meet and then it's great. And there's what the finished dangly looks like. Now that all your danglies are applied, you're going to attach them to the bottom of your keychain. Aren't those so cute? Make sure you have about a medium sized open jump ring. You can use a large one, but I don't really like to. I like the mediums. And now you're just going to hold the jump ring with wires and thread on your charms and danglies. Oh, took me a minute. <laughs> I usually move the jump ring as I'm putting them on to make room. Also, as you can see, it doesn't matter if you have shaky hands or not, because my hands shake like crazy, yet I can do all this just fine. Now that it's all the danglies are threaded on, you're going to attach it to the bottom of the keychain. Just loop it through like you're threading another dangly. Grab another pair of pliers. Usually you want to make sure this next pair of needle nose pliers has some sort of like grip on the inside, as you can see. Look at those old things. <laughs> Those thing, those pliers have been inherited for three generations, um, <laughs> and just twist towards them. My plier slipped off right there because the littler plier does not have grips. That's okay. That'll happen sometimes. Don't worry about it. Always, also, when you open your jump rings, don't pull them apart. 
twist side to side. If you pull them apart, you're going to weaken the jump ring and you're accidentally probably going to break it. God knows I have. I also squished the jump ring right there to make sure it's perfectly closed and nothing can slip off. And that is how you attach the bottom danglies to the keychain. Doesn't that look cute? That looks adorable. The complete keychain looks like this. That's so cute, isn't it? And you have your little jinglies. You can even attach little tiny bells on the bottom if you wanted to make a jangle. Isn't that cute? You can use any design you want. As you can see here, I've used multiple beads. Anything you can think of can be made into a wine cork keychain. It's just that simple. And that's how you make a wine cork keychain. Thanks for watching, guys.